um, my second one this week. We're on Wednesday, so it's my second one this week. I'll do another one on Friday, just this week. Changes every week. So I'm just sitting down there to have my um, breakfast, which I have here is scrambled eggs, mushroom, and I use a five gram teaspoon of coconut oil, a little bit of pepper, and a small amount of pink Himalayan sea salt. Um, the reason I have a heap load of mushrooms in there is just because I'm on a no carb day and I find on a no carb day if I eat the same as I do on the other days just taking out all the carbs you know it is significant um, significantly less food so I just on a no day and even on a, on a, a low day as well related to my carbs I just bring a lot more vegetables in just with more going into my stomach so I feel a bit more full um, so a few supplements that I take at this time of the day um, vitamin C Farmington vitamins and minerals it's a really good one there. some zinc omega 3s EPA DHA some really good quality stuff and just vitamin D as well because we really lack on it in Ireland so I just tried to get a bit of that in as well so I just got a big delivery in this morning for my, my protein and I'm just like Ooh. so I'm gonna have my breakfast and then I'm going to um, show you what I got I'm gonna show you what I bought it's really quick delivery as well it's only like two days or something like that and I even got a message just first thing this morning and they said oh what'll we hear from 1018 or between 1018 and 1118 that was, was brilliant like so it meant I could get it and do my morning cardio and kind of get back on time because you know, you can't always trust everybody else to open the door if the doorbell rings, so trust yourself. But anyway, so last time I would have showed you I got the beef protein isolate from my protein. The reason I chose this is because no carb, no carb. Um, and it makes it handier as well for my, for my macros. It means I got a no day. It's a genuine no day. There's no sneaky little carbs, except obviously from fiber carbs and all that kind of thing. But um so just making things as accurate as possible. So I decided this time because I liked this that that was only a kilo bag. This time I went for 2.5 kilo bag. Um, yeah, and they also had a 25% discount off as well. So that was super handy for me, especially Christmas after Christmas and New Year. Um, so that's a nice little help. I also got. More of my, I just said so I could have both, both hands free. <laughs> I got um, my liquid flavour drops again. So I already have mocha. I have toffee. Toffee's nicer compared to the mocha. And this one is chocolate peanut butter. So I'm going to give this a go post workout and I'll let you know what the flavour's like, whether it's nice or not. And then because they get used so much, new shaker, nice one with the, I always find this is really handy because sometimes I keep my protein in there and then empty it in um, in the gym and then obviously water it down and add my drops in. Um, this is Smart Shaker, Smart Shaker, really good brand right now, uh, you know, so it has this. So I got one in purple for myself and because I'm a fantastic girlfriend and client for my coach Matt, I got him one. <laughs> So that's it in relation to uh, my supplements. Um, later on, I'm doing legs. I'm on quads, so I like my squats. Probably from uh, front squats there, just to really target in another quad. Ah, falling. And <laughs> um, leg pressing, barbell split squats. I'll try to get as much footage of that as possible. Sometimes it can be awkward when there's a lot of people around. It can be hard to find a spot where the camera suits. I haven't got a GoPro as such. Um, Matt has one. I don't have one. Um, that'd be really handy just for me to kind of record sessions properly. Also, um, I'm on my last day of my prepared meals. So at the weekend, Matt gave me his rice cooker. I didn't think this was going to be, you know, I didn't think I'd find a use for it, but he's given me a lens of his. I did say to you that my prep was taking a long time to do because I was preparing my meals individually, you know, measuring out and cooking that little batch and then putting everything up to the, 
whatever again and that was going into separate boxes. It was taking me a long time so I knew it was an inevitable that I was going to have to change how I was prepping my meals purely for time management. Also I was using microwavable rice and it just wasn't feasible, it was just expensive. I, I knew that would have to change again as well. So I did buy dry rice and that's why Matt said he'd give me his rice cooker to have a go with. The last day when we were doing it together here he was showing me how to use them. That I had planned to um, video it just to show how I was now prepping my meals but it got really fucking stressful. Um, I'm terrible at numbers so I just got really stressed trying to figure out cooked weight, non-cooked weight, nutritional values, how it all changed. So I didn't record that because you would have just seen a very stressful cranky side of me. So this evening I'll be prepping a high day, medium day and a low day. There's so loads of carbs there, long grain rice and basmati rice so they'll have to be cooked separately. Um, the main thing is you just don't want wastage really a load, of, a load of rice so I just need to calculate what I have in need in advance and then come to the kitchen and just know where I'm going know what I'm doing so I hope hopefully I'll be all calm doing that myself and um, I'll be able to kind of show you what I'm doing there meals are nicer this week my meals have actually been really nice um, yeah, it's just been plain rice, but I've been bulk cooking my chicken as well, fillets on the George Foreman, and they were just so much nicer. I just really enjoyed my meals this week, so hopefully it'll remain that way, and it'll just make prep that bit easier, that I'm actually enjoying what I'm eating. was um, body weight, glute bridges, just to kind of get the glutes um, firing, concentrate on proper squeeze at the top of the movement, then change to single leg. I then like to, because I've had issues with squatting and um, hip mobility in the past, I spend a bit of time, uh, not too huge, just making sure you're getting the right, you know, really good exercises. Spend a few minutes on opening up the hips. 
um, there is one or two movements in there for opening up the hips that are not included. It was hard, it was hard to get some angles um, where I was today, so it's my best. I also make use of resistance bands and just do my glute walks again just to get the glutes firing because whenever you're doing squat and leg work it's always the glute that's the firing muscle so if it's slow well then we might not have as um, beneficial a squat because we're not starting the movement correctly and of course then um, as I demonstrated in that video there just with um, a dumbbell just a uh, goblet squat, sitting down in the, in the squat position, um, loosening at the hips. Lots of feet one day to do drop down lower, so yeah, I get a butt wing, I get a curve back, but it's not my squat I'm focusing on there. I just want to get into that movement, and what I'm doing is I'm pushing my legs apart to kind of to open up the hips, and a little stretch on the adductors on the inner thigh, that's all I'm doing there, and then just a few of those. The squat I did there was a front squat. Um, it targets the quads a little bit more. I was just warming up with the bar there, so I did a warm up set with the 20 kg bar. That's a typical Olympic bar. And um, then I put the weight up. Kind of, it got that bit heavier, so I needed my headphones for that. That's where having Matt train with me is handy because, you know, he can use his camera and I can keep my music motivating me through the, through the suffering. And then did weighted Bulgarian split squats. They just get a serious burn on the quads. Um, so did them. All, all three sets on all of these. Of course, I squatted an extra warm-up set. So it's four. Today I was working on um, Y3T. Week three, super high rep, 20 reps. So that's tough. It's tough. You just get tired so quickly. And then you have to keep on going. Include in my video purely because of camera positioning and just basically getting in other people's way was leg press. So three sets of 20 on the leg press. Wider stance. A little bit, well, that's just for me, a little bit wider. And then um, to the center of the pads, so I'm getting the quads. There is other ways to do it. That's the way I chose to do it today for my quads. Exercise as a finisher was a quad extension, three by 20 was failing in every set, that's exactly what I wanted at the end of the workout, just to make sure the quads are really done. Finished off with some stretching, uh, glutes and quads particularly, um, glutes are still sore from my weekend leg session, and some hamstrings as well, because even those were kind of cramping up, so this is just cover all, 